Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! It showed up. Oh, yes. of Wolfpack TV. Um, today, I want to take the time to review the Hoka Oni Oni Evo Speed Goat. Uh, this is a trail shoe. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. Uh, but first, before I start, I spent my own money on this shoe. This is my shoe. No one's paying me to do this. There's no, you know, no, you know, uh, corporate payouts or anything like that this is my shoe that i spent my money on and i'm doing a shoe review that uh no one's going to review the comments on and i'm just going to review the shoe hey this is it's 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 wolfpack tv so let's get started so once again this is the hokey hoka oni oni evo speed goat um this shoe comes in at 9.90 ounces uh, it features a four millimeter drop. Uh, it's a pretty lightweight shoe. Um, Hoka Oni Oni has a Speed Goat series of shoes, and this is kind of like the racer, the racer version of that shoe. Uh, the shoe is has good cushion. Uh, it's pretty flexible. Uh, it has a lightweight kind of mesh material upper you can if you hold it up to a light you can kind of see through it um it has a four millimeter drop and it's pretty lightweight shoe it's pretty durable i consider you can you pretty much can take this shoe and use it as a road shoe and then transition into a trail shoe so oftentimes i like to do easy runs uh, and I need a little bit more cushion and I want to maybe go off trail. So I turned to this shoe for that endeavor. And it has, I am very impressed by this shoe. This shoe's been out for a while and um, it features a, a lot of good features here. It has a lightweight, a lightweight material here on the, on the upper. Uh, the tongue is very thin, but it runs throughout. The, uh, the midsole of the shoe to, to the top of the shoe uh, has, uh, has lugs, right? Has a vibranium outsole on the shoe. Um, lugs aren't that deep, so you can use it for um, light trail work or some road work um, if you know you're gonna be going off, 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 off trail from road and transitioning back and forth. Um, it does have a slightly sticky material on the bottom. So like if you get into like a rain situation and you need uh, some more grip, you have the lugs and as well as a slight sticky material on the bottom of the shoe for the actual sticking to the shoe. A lot of cushion on the back of the shoe. Uh, has a nice midsole pop to it. Uh, so it's not bottom heavy, you know. Um, and if you compare this to the traditional Speed Goat, so this shoe is about 9.90 ounces. Uh, I have a scale that I'm about to weigh it on, but the traditional Speed Goat, uh, for example, like the Speed Goat 4 comes in at about 10 point, a little bit over 10 ounces. Um, so it's a little bit lighter, nice racer, racer uh, version of that shoe. 
only comes in, in this color, which is a citrus, citrus black color. Uh, very nice color scheme. Um, and uh, holds up pretty well. Um, I, I really do like the fact that it is a very lightweight shoe and it has some durability on it. Uh, I, I do like the, the look and feel of this shoe. So basically my premise is if, you know, one of the things that we're trying to do on this show is we're trying to get um, we're trying to get more people interested in trail running and we're trying to get more people in terms of, uh, of, of interest and just being being familiar with the sport uh, a lot oftentimes people feel intimidated to ask questions and whatnot but um, this this show hopefully will help help in that endeavor to help educate people who want to get into trail running I love trail running um, it's it's very different from road running. Uh, it gives you a sense of freedom. It gives you a sense of, um, of, of seeing what you are made out of, um, and it's very rewarding in the end when you when you do finish. Uh, but do like this shoe. Use it for trail running. Uh, I have a few other shoes that I'll be reviewing um, as I get time to you know get into them. Um, right now we're in a little bit pandemic, so getting on trails and getting out and about is a little bit tough. So I can't really go extreme with the type of trail shoe that I would like to try on and review, but we'll do our best uh, during these times. So like I, like I said, um, good shoe. Um, Hoka Oni Oni Evo Speed Goat, light upper, pretty durable. Nice lugs, sticky bottom, vibranium outsole on the shoe, and uh, I recommend it. So give it a shot. Thank you. And also, while I'm at it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And comment below if you if you uh, have any further questions or if you'd like to see what you're seeing on the, shoe, on the show. Basically, we're trying to grow out this channel, um, do a means of educating people on all things trail and um, tune in again. So thank you very much.